most people would agree that they want to breathe clean air and drink clean water. Um, and so what sometimes gets uh, uh, buried under the conversation of climate change uh, really just needs to be rephrased as, do you want to breathe clean air, yes or no? <laughs> and I think most people would answer yes. And then, you know, technologies that uh, clean the air or uh, uh, filter the water um, are poised for, for growth. What we do is we manage money for people uh, in order to seek higher human impact uh, and profit. And human impact includes human, social, and environmental impact. Um, and how we define that is really in five categories, health and wealth, earth and equality, and trust. And when you solve human needs in those five categories, um, companies not only create uh, better, more innovative products, um, they also run their businesses in a more systematic, comprehensive, long-term focused way. Uh, but because the uh, measures of sustainability uh, can map directly to the financial statements, when you do better in sustainability, you can do better in your profitability. So what we do is we rate and rank companies according to um, those sustainability factors, uh, which end up becoming leading indicators of profitability. Um, and so we build portfolios around that and, um, and then help investors uh, increase their impact and increase their profit, um, uh, seeking profit. Um, and so you can do good and make money at the same time. Well, the tools are uh, one, that uh, things are possible that you might think impossible. So just embracing that as a, as a value. Um, two is you know, having an information tool that allows you to look at things that were not previously quantifiable. So the value of people, the value of nature services uh, to society. And then third, being able to do that you know, in an investment portfolio to vote with your money. So some people are focused on eco, so they might pick a, you know, a double weight or a higher weight on the earth component of their portfolio. Others are focused on transparency, so they might pick a triple weight on the, on the trust component. So with the technology that we have, we're able to customize a portfolio based on those categories of health and wealth and earth and equality and trust um, across a universe of more than 3,000 companies. Um, so that really puts power, again, in the hands of the customer and the, you know, the client, the investor, uh, to you know, build a, a portfolio that's unique to them and unique to those interests, and being able to quantify the impacts of uh, that portfolio as well, um, and be able to, to report on not only what the risk and return of that portfolio is, but what the true impact is. And that's missing today. So that's a financial innovation that uh, will be coming soon and totally disruptive um, to you know, traditional sort of Wall Street investors who uh, want to maximize money at any cost, not realizing how you make money. Uh, is more, it's more important to focus on how you create that uh, money because things like people are um, not, uh, are thought of as the biggest asset of a company, but they're not actually on the financial statements as an asset. They're on the financial statements as a cost and an expense. So that's another radical shift that will be happening is um, being able to value uh, the assets uh, that we all know, people, innovation, intellectual property, as assets uh, on the financial statements instead of as costs on the financial statements. The energy industry is uh, becoming disrupted and will continue to become disruptive, uh, disrupted. Um, uh, and so what does that look like in the future? I think you're going to see more uh, just like you have today, software as a service through companies like salesforce.com. You'll have um, uh, other things as a service, so automotives as a service, whether it be something like uh, what Zipcar and Flexcar have done or other types of collaborative sharing of uh, use of transportation. Um, you know, energy as a service, transportation as a service, where uh, I, I think will be a new business model that'll be disruptive. So what that means for the uh, fuel mix too is that um, uh, is that those decisions can be made uh, in a way to increase the proportion of uh, renewable energy or low carbon intensity energy, uh, which may in the short term be things like natural gas or liquefied natural gas, and over the longer term we're due for a battery uh, innovation. We haven't had any major battery innovations in decades, uh, and so um, hopefully one of the things coming out of the labs will be. Um, 
uh, sort of a radical um, a battery technology, radical, radically innovative battery technology. We're not paying for um, all the natural resources that we use today. So I think uh, uh, you'll start to see as prices or regulation gets layered on to water and other uh, and energy that uh, that will shift how people think and, and calculate that. So a noble profit is really around solving a human need and making money at the same time. Um, and we actually call that being hip. Mm -hmm.